is there any internal anger? That's what I'm trying to figure out, right? So let, let's, so for instance, when you was younger, um, I'm just gonna ask, right? Did anything like ever happen to you or anything like that? Yeah. What age did that happen? Like when I was 11. 11? And so what was it that happened at 11? How old was he? I think he was like 20 in his 20s. 20s? Yeah. Oof. Did you ever tell anybody? Yeah, I told my godparents. And so what did what happened when you told them? Um, at the beginning of the interview, you said that, you know, dad was active and present, but then you had a Freudian slip when you was talking about why you chose to do, you know, the thing yeah. with the guys because you say that your dad wasn't in your life. Yeah. So is he not really that much? Is he not in your life as much as you want him to be, basically? Yeah, my dad, he sees though. Have you had an opportunity to talk to, like, a therapist or anything like that about yeah. this stuff? Do you feel like it's helping or? Yeah, but I try to cope with my own problems. How do you do that? What's up, YouTube? It's the fall time, and we are on daddy duty. So if I'm not getting as much content out, bear with me. Make sure you tap in with my daily lives on the B side. Now back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. So we got a young lady with us today. How you doing today, miss? I'm doing good. Okay, I'm gonna pull up on you just because you speak a little soft. Um, okay, so how old are you? 17. 17 or so. Um, are you homeless? No. Okay, so what's you guys' situation? My sister, like, we, we ain't been having nowhere to go, like, we've been sleeping in our friend house, just been traveling, traveling, just traveling, like. It's okay, how old are you, man? I said together, I'm 22. 22, and so, are you homeless? Yeah, like, we homeless, like, we be sleeping at our friend house, like. It's kind of here, there, it's levels to homelessness, right? But yeah, I get it, I get it, so. Cause, you know, sis was saying that, you know, kind of not, or whatever, but I get it. It's levels to it, right, and so. Just trying to find jobs, keep on my eye. Occupied, like. Keep your mind occupied. Yeah, that's definitely a good thing. All right, so 17. Um, and so like, you know, like, so you have like a roof and stuff like that to sleep at night. Yes, sir. Okay, so how come like you're not in school right now? I got kicked out of the cab schools. I can't go to any schools in the cab. Why not? Fine. It's I'm about to take my belt off and give you a whooping. All right, I got daughters that are close to your age. So and one of them is in the cab. Um, so, okay, what was the last school you was at? Um, the camp I turned to school. At, at, okay, at, was well, that still Crim or is that somewhere different now? Somewhere different. Okay, Memorial okay. Drive. Memorial Drive. So, why are you getting in all these fights? Um, just Instagram, like social media. It's so, like a lot of stuff that be going on in the, uh, on the back end on social yeah. media and then it comes, spills out to yeah. real life and school and stuff? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, is that your brother or is My that brother. that's your brother? How old is bro, man? 22. 22? Okay, okay, I see him. I see him. We'll talk to him in a second. Okay, so so you guys have a place to go at night, but you're just trying to find a job, trying to find something to do. Why not go to Job Corps? Yeah, I was thinking about going to Job Corps. It's a, a thousand percent what I recommend, okay? Yeah. But let's talk about it first, okay? So so you're 17, and by the way, when do you turn 18? I turn 18 November 22nd. Okay, so you'll be 18 in about a month and change. All right. Okay, so real quick, so... Let's just start for, and you don't have any kids, right? Okay. Let's just start from the beginning. So, where are you from? Atlanta. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Shout out ATL, man. Shout it out. What part of Atlanta are you from? Eastside. Hey, man. Wood shout Wood that Eastside. Hey, man. Middle finger with the five, six. Shout it out, man. You already know. All right. So, growing up on the east side, did you have both mom and dad in the household? No. Okay. Who'd you grow up with? My mom. Mom. And so, was dad. But I always was... saw my dad, though. Okay, so he was active and present and yeah. stuff like that? Okay. But just necessarily not in the house with you or whatever? Okay. Um, and so do you have brothers and sisters? Obviously, we see one yes. right here. Okay, how many brothers and sisters? My mama, she got uh, eight kids. My daddy got two kids. Okay, so as far as that you grew up in the house with, how many siblings did you grow up in the house with? Seven. Seven? And yeah. where are you in the birth order? I'm the eighth child. Huh? I'm the eighth child. So you're like the baby? Yeah. You're the baby. <laughs> Is that right? Okay, okay. And so, you know, growing up, um, and you're still growing up, but growing up, would you say that you had like a fairly normal childhood? Yes. Had a good childhood? Yes. Did all the normal stuff or whatever? Mm -hmm. So, what has caused like this, this anger and this fighting and all this stuff? What has caused that, right? What, what, what do you think has triggered that? Um, negativity. Like, I don't like being around negative like, I get angry. Right, but I guess I don't it. I like people when they I don't like for people like to 
say and speak up just me. a little bit for me. I don't like for people to say something about me. I don't like people to talk about me. Why? But why not just like when people talk about you, just let it roll off your shoulder? Yeah, I don't. I'm trying to cope with that, but I can't. Is there any internal anger? That's what I'm trying to figure out, right? So let, let's. So for instance, when you was younger, um, I'm just gonna ask, right? Did anything like ever happen to you or anything like that? Yeah. What age did that happen? Like when I was 11. 11. And so, what was it that happened at 11? Um, sexually assaulted. Right, but was it like someone that you knew, or mm -hmm. it was a stranger? Yeah. Not really a stranger, but yeah, but I, cause I didn't know him personally. Okay, so but how I, did how did that situation end up happening? Like, was you over somebody's house, or was, was you outside? I was over my godmama's house. Okay, and so you was over your godmama's house. Was this person older, or like older around the same me. age? Like, was he like a teenager, or like older, like an older, adult? Older adult. He's an adult. Okay, and so, like, how, like, what, how did it end up happening? Like, what happened? You know what I'm saying? Um, long story short. I thought I wanted to be fast and stuff. So me being, you know, a house full of people, I'm the youngest, I don't have my dad in my life, so I wanted to be grown fast. But not knowing, I was a virgin at the time, so I, I got special assaulted. I didn't want to do it personally, but I didn't want to, you know, be a child for me. So if like, if, if I was to ask him, like, hey, what happened, you know, would he say that you initiated or, you know, like, you was you wanted to do it? Or? I, I, I'm not going to say I, I wanted to, but I didn't want to do it. It was a yeah and no. Okay. When when it did start to happen, did you, like, ever say no or whatever or, like, stop or anything like that? I In other words, did he, like, kind of time. force himself or yeah, was it like you was just scared and you didn't say nothing? For, it was both. It was kind of both. When when that was done happening, um, how did you feel like right after? My body was hurting because I was like a virgin at the time. Right. So I was scared to tell my mom and my godmom because I was at my godmom. How old was he? I think he was like 20. In his 20s? Yeah. Oof. Did you ever tell anybody? Yeah, I told my godparents. And so, what did what happened when you told them? Um, we went to the doctor. They had got everything checked. They did the kid. It was positive, and we went to court. Did he end up going to jail and stuff? Yeah, I see him in court from here and now and then. You say say that again? I see him from court from here and now and then. I Is that so? So, have you seen him since then? No, because I haven't been to court. By been, my case, I've been there like three months ago. I've been in court three months ago. So is he currently like locked up or whatever? Yes, but not because of me, because of other charges also. Oh, so he's done this to other girls as well? I don't know. Okay, but other charges, you don't yeah, know what like, they are? Yeah, I don't know what they are. Okay, okay. Ooh, was that like the only incident like that that happened to you? Yes. Okay. And so, do you think that some of this anger or agitation... Do you think that some of this anger or agitation stems from that incident? Or do you think it's other incidents? Because the other thing I'll say is this, right? Um, at the beginning of the interview, you said that, you know, dad was active and present. But then you had a Freudian slip when you was talking about why you chose to do, you know, the thing yeah. with the guys. Because you say that your dad wasn't in your life. Yeah. So is he not really that much? Is he not in your life as much as you want him to be, basically? Yeah. My dad, he ceased though. He I'm was in my life. Ooh. But he wasn't in okay, life. so the reason why you were saying he wasn't in your life because he was deceased at that point. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear about that. My condolences. Thank you. Um, it sounds like he was young. Yeah. How did he end up passing? He um he I don't really like talk he killed himself. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so now I'm starting to understand. Have you had an opportunity to talk to like a therapist or anything like that about yeah. this stuff? Do you feel like it's helping or yeah, but I try to cope with my own problems. How do you do that? Like, listening to music, doing stuff that I like, like, going out. I'm glad that you don't use drugs to cope. Yeah. And do you, you don't use sex to cope, do you? No, okay. I'm happy about that, okay? Stay like that. Okay. Cope with exercise, cope with all type of other stuff. Just don't do drugs or alcohol. And the best thing to do is just talk to people talk about it 
the more you talk about it, the less power it'll have over you. Because my theory is that some of this fighting and stuff like that is because you have some of this built-in agitation already. So it's almost like if you take a cup that's almost full, and then if you just pour a little bit of water, it's gonna overflow because it was almost full already, right? Versus if you have an empty cup, you take that same little bit amount of water, you pour it in, they can handle it. Yeah. You know, so I feel like maybe that's your situation. What do you, what do you think about that? Um, I, I just deal with like, you know, cold. I, but this this kind of soft energy that I'm getting from you doesn't speak fighter. It doesn't say, it does. This doesn't. The energy that I'm feeling doesn't feel like that's like your nature, right? It feels like it's more of a defense mechanism, um, something that you're doing to cope, um, to you know, stave off the agitation, the anger, the frustration. Yeah. Well, what do we need to do to get rid of that anger and that frustration? I really stay to myself. I try to stay to myself, stay out of other people's ways. My, my but you can't do that forever, right? So what are we going to do to like, that's what I'm saying, like maybe I'm thinking that, you know, um, things like Job Corps where you'll have like something that you feel good about and you're, yeah. you're working towards and then also talking to somebody, right? Mm -hmm. Talking to people it's that you okay. trust, right? You know what I'm saying? So you can just kind of process your thoughts yeah. so that when people say stuff to you, it doesn't trigger you, yeah. right? Because as you get older, that fights and stuff is going to turn into different stuff. And it's going to turn into jail time and all that type of stuff, yeah, right? Okay, because I see, like, the marks in your face. Is that from, like, fighting and stuff? Girl, or just getting the boxing. All right, one or the other, okay? <laughs> Clarissa Shields. You'll be the next Clarissa Shields. Do you know her? She's a female boxer, famous female boxer. So, yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, just things like that, right? Things like that that can kind of help you out. Um, so, okay, so 17. And so how long ago was it that we got kicked out of school? Three months ago and so because three well that was like summertime no i had no i had got kid out of school last year i went to stone mountain high school <laughs> shout out stone mountain man my, my kid goes to a middle school that's close to there <laughs> all right so okay so i mean can we agree that maybe job course should be the next step for sure yeah because i want my high school to come in my team. i'm telling you it's gonna make getting the job easier it's gonna make you walking around with a high self-esteem and confidence it's gonna make that easier. Yeah. Okay, so, all right, well listen, miss, um, I'm definitely gonna tighten up you and your brother, um, but if anybody out there did wanna reach out, help, or donate, do you have a way they could do that? Do you have social media, cash app, anything like that? No. No, you don't have like- I don't have social media, I don't be on social media. You don't have cash app? I have cash app. Girl, shout work. out, what do you mean it don't work? I, I be making so many, too many cash apps. You better shout one of them out that may potentially work. Because, you know, you never know what may happen. This video may get yeah. more spins than what I anticipated. And so we want to make sure that, you know, if people want to help, that they can. Yeah, on my channel, you know, 17-year-olds, um, which I've had a few of them over the past couple months. Okay, let's see. Mean ass Maya. Where's the mean? I don't see the mean. Show me the mean right now. I want to see it. No, show me the mean. You done named your cash at me. Show me the mean. I don't see it. No, my brother did that. <laughs> that was you, man. You made that cash at me. <laughs> all right, well, look, we're going to talk to bro in a second, all right? But um, like I say, we definitely appreciate you, and we definitely wish you nothing but the best out here, okay? okay. Make sure you have a good one, sweetie. All right, all right. All right.